Hello guys, welcome back to our series on commonly asked programming questions. So today we are going to see our next question that is program to check whether the given string is panagram or not. Okay, so guys, let's see. First, we need to understand what is panagram. Okay, so panagram. If a string contain every letter of the English alphabet, then that string is known as panagram. That means uh, that uh, string should contain all the 26 alphabets. Okay, so if a string contain all the 26 letters of English alphabet, then we can say that a string is panagram. Okay, so for example, we have one string that is the quick brown fox jumps over the lazy dog, which contain each and every letter of an English alphabet. That is all 26 letters are there in this string. So that's why we call this string as a panagram. Okay, so I hope you understand what is panagram. Now let's see how we are going to write a code for it. So this is our algorithm what is saying declare an empty hash set okay iterate over the string and insert each character in the hash set once the string has been traversed check the size of hash set okay uh, if it is equal to 26 that means we have covered the okay if the size of hash set is less than 26 it means okay so what algorithm is saying uh, what we have to do uh, we first create one array okay so in that array we will uh, store the value corresponding to each alphabet right suppose we will take an array of size 26 for each alphabet right there are 26 alphabets so we will take the string as 26 uh, length of 26 okay so corresponding to each character we are storing in the array right if suppose array is fully filled then me that means each and every uh, array element is there okay then we can say it is okay uh, panagram and if this the count is not 26 all 26 array are not filled then we can say that it is not an panagram so i guess uh, it will be much better if you if i can explain this with the help of code okay so let me copy that code and try to execute that in online compiler okay so i am going to explain you in online c compiler so this is our code okay so let me uh, make it readable for you oh, so here we have statically defined the string right care string in which we have passed the string the quick brown fox jumps over the lazy dog okay then we have defined some variables okay so I as I have so told you that we will take an array of size 26 and initialize it with a zero value okay so we have taken value array right in which each and every block is defined with zero right and one variable count equal to zero so now we are iterating over each and every character in the string right this is string and we are iterating over each and every character in the string okay so till we did not get null character that is end of the string so we are checking if if a string that uh, string looping over this string and if each character if a character is between a to z okay that means we are comparing based on ascii value right uh, i guess you will all will be aware of ascii values right so stri right so what will be the suppose uh, the first character is capital t right so it will compare with the ascii value of t and ascii value of a so both are not uh, ASCII value of A to Z is I guess 97 plus onward right then uh, for capital it will be around 57 or 56 that we need to check uh, in the ASCII table right so this will compare whether A to Z that is STR of I lies between A to Z or not right so here if we check capital T capital T does not lies between A to Z right so this condition will be false in that case and else if right we have other loop in that loop we can check that capital A and Z yes capital T lies between capital A and capital Z right so what we will done we will increment the count okay count equal to count plus value str of i right okay or then we will increase uh, store value of str of i minus a equal to 1 okay so what we are doing here we are uh, incrementing the value storing the count in the value array right corresponding to that digit suppose capital A is there right so str of i what actually str of i is that is t t minus a the the difference is based on ascii value right 
so capital T minus capital A whatever with the ASCII value difference we will get let me show you the ASCII value chart so I guess yeah this is ASCII table so let me open that so this is an ASCII table right so you can see that for capital it is starting from 65 right till 90 right and for uh, small alphabets it is starting from 97 right so it is saying T okay so here what we are having in our code is that is value of str of my i minus a that is we are having the character as capital T right so capital T ASCII value is 84 right and a is 65 so 84 minus 65 whatever value we will get in corresponding to that array index uh, we are storing the value as 1 right so in similar fashion we are storing the values right so for each array in each array index we are storing a value corresponding to the character okay alphabet english alphabet so if all the array elements are filled by 1 right at the end so what we are having we are having count as 26 right we are also incrementing the count so count as 26 then we can say that the string is pentagram string right so what uh, actually here count is count is basically checking the value in the array okay so if it is there then we will increment the count okay so count is 26 then string is pentagram string else string is not a pentagram string so let's try to run this code so yeah the string is pentagram string as i have already explained you that the quick brown fox jumps over the lazy dog is an pentagram string okay so guys i hope you understand the code you can check the code in different languages also i will share the link to this article in the description section so it will be easy for you to understand okay guys if you have any doubt you can mention that in the comment section thanks a lot